What's good? We back with the box clink and more. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy CJ Goodfell, and we just was on fire earlier with that uh, Deontay Wilder video. I'm going to get behind that brother. And go another brother, Gary Russell Jr., uh, who mentioned Deontay Wilder of recent, saying that, you know, he want those guys to get together and get their own boxing teams, and they can form their own tournament. You know, Wilder, he named uh, name dropped a couple of the fighters he's trying to collab with. And, um, you know, we back. And also, you know, a lot of the... Uh, you know, the panels we've been having on this week saying, you know, they've been saying that Gary Russell don't love the uh, sport of boxing, don't even watch it. Um, but he definitely loves his amateur boxing. I guess he's more into amateur boxing than professional boxing. But uh, we're not here for that. We're here to talk about Gary Russell um, saying that he don't care if you fight often. It's more about business and money. And uh, he's definitely the poster boy for inactivity in Premier Boxing Champion Fighters fighting once a year. And he, you know... I'm going to read the quote word for word so you know that it's trio. I'm going to link the article from ESPN into the description. Y'all know we link our articles in the description. We don't hide the sources or nothing like that. Before we get into it, the video for show, I want to say for all you YouTubers out there, bro, before we get into this link, it's uh, the screenshot. All you YouTubers out here, man, answer your comments. Answer your subscribers, man. You're not going to grow unless you answer your comments. Download YouTube Studio and make it easier for your page to manage. Come on, man. You can't not be answering and acknowledging people's uh, comments, man. I went through the same thing. And when I started doing it, Matt Valentine said, start acknowledging the comments, man. Subscribers went straight up a little bit more. But here's Gary Russell. It's a business. It's definitely a business. Russell said, I'm not anxious to fight more often. When it comes to earning potential, it's definitely a business first before fighting. Whenever we do compete, we're going to make sure we maximize our coin because regardless of what our occupation is, we want a sense of financial stability. And when a lot of these guys in the featherweight division aren't really in the rush to get in the ring with Mr. G well, no, aren't in the, ring, uh, in the rush to get in the ring with Mr. Gary Russell. So, uh, you know, basically... Uh, the end of that, he's basically saying that the division in the hole really making him stagnant and freezing them out like they did Rigondeaux. A lot of these guys was at, what, 122 of Rigondeaux, and they moved up or didn't fight him and didn't acknowledge him. They were scared of him. It still is. Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, Scott Quick, Abner Mares, um, you know, all those pussies, you know. And, you know, that's how I feel. But he right. You know, they don't want to fight him. He's tried to reach out to Santa Cruz and... He best to believe that Santa Cruz is uh, Al Heyman's son, is his golden duck, golden goose. Um, you know, uh, Al, they call Santa Cruz the son of Al. So that just gives you a sense of, you know, you know that real quick. But, um, you know, he said he's not so anxious to fight more often. It's about money. He wants the most money for one fight, and he's probably investing it. Like he said in his other video, he said he hoped for her and Tank Davis to be investing their money as well. And that he's invested in, and he's, you know, living off investments, basically. He don't want to be more, uh, fight more often. And, you know, and that speaks volumes, and it, and it gives credence to what Trey, the brother Trey X that came on and said, to what Cali Enigma was saying, what Moni Brown TV was saying, is that for the betterment of boxing, Jojo Diaz winning this fight would be better for the sport because he wants to be more active, and he wants to fight. Gary Russell is stagnant. All the brothers love Gary Russell. And everybody, and a lot of other people do too. Fast hands, exciting, offensive. Um, one of the few offensive uh, powerhouses like that in the sport of boxing, them sluggers. You know, they got that speed and stuff of that nature. But he don't have any uh, plans on fighting more often. So uh, is it wrong for, for the brothers? They like Gary Russell, but see Jojo Diaz, wanna, we'll see Jojo Diaz win because he's going to fight more than once a year? No. You know, for the, anything for the betterment of the sport, uh, you know, a lot of the brothers want to see. And for Gary Russell, it, it ain't about... Fight more often. You don't want to fight more than one time a year. And, you know, if you're happy with that, man, you're happy with it. But, you know, sport of boxing got to move on. You can't be a title holder, just fight mandatories and not, you know, just fight mandatories. You got to fight at least three times a year, man. That's my thing. At least three times a year. You know, but at the end of the day, this is what these guys is with, man. They falling into the financial, you know, financial, uh, you know, bed that Al Heyman is laying for them. Because when you take whatever he making Saturday night, and it ain't like um, he making big money, but you take what he makes Saturday night, you invested it, and you know your investments is good, and it's coming back triple, quadruple, quintuple of what you put in it. I mean, you know, I guess it gives credence to what they said when he said he don't love to fight. And a person that don't love to fight it, uh, is inactive. He's showing you that he don't really care about fighting. You know, he's just in it for the money. And it's sad to say that he take that route because he's such a talented fighter, man. But he told you guys, like they said on the panel, 
He ain't in love with the shit. He don't even watch boxing. And, you know, for him right here, he said, I want to maximize my coin. He don't want to fight more often. He wants to maximize his coin. He don't love the sport, bro. And it's sad to say somebody as talented as Gary Russell um, don't love the sport. And it's, it's showing right here. He don't love it. He love the money, but he don't want to fight more often. And it is what it is. And it's, it's a sad thing, though, man. He's a talented fighter. I met him at the Barclays Center, man. Got much love and respect for him. But the love ain't there, man. And definitely not. Um, hell of a fighter, but it's funny. I was watching the NFL Top 100. And um, I don't know how many of y'all watched that. It's the, the players ranking, giving their rankings for the top 100 players in the NFL. And Fletcher Cox said, I never watched the Super Bowl before, you know, in my life. You know, he won the Super Bowl with the Eagles last year. And that was the first, you know, Super Bowl he had ever been a part of, television or anything. He never watched the Super Bowl as a kid or nothing. So it's, it's people out here like that. I don't know how you could play, uh, well, play a physical sport in football and fight in a combat sport and be there and, and not love it. And not like it and watch it. Both of those are violent sports and physically demanding sports. But, hey, you know, create, you know, tip the hat to them. Because some that physical and that uh, abusive on, on my body or they body. And I don't love it. I ain't doing it, man. The love got to be there before the money is. You know? Especially when we're dealing with physical sports. But um, that's just a lowdown real quick. I definitely appreciate it. And shout out to the Ranch Gang, man. I'm going to need you guys. To uh, to be be there when we go live today on the hangout after the the, the Russell Diaz and Stevenson and Jack weigh in. We talking straight Stevenson, Jack, Russell, Diaz uh, on the live stream today. We're going to try to uh, string it out before I probably go see Deadpool to hang out and let the brothers hang out. Big day of uh, boxing tomorrow starting off with uh, Josh Warrington taking on Lee Selby. Um, I definitely want to uh, talk about that fight as well at some point today or tomorrow. But it's CBC and more. Y'all know what it is. We go.